also part of our struggle to see that the amenities of life in the 20th century reach our people. You know, Mr. President, that we're very, very far from achieving the goal of raising those standards of living for which, without which the struggle for independence is not enough. But we, we are determined to, ca to carry on the struggle and I'm sure that with friends in the world, in all parts of the world, we are certain to win that struggle too. I want to say well, one the past 50 years, uh, we've seen a, uh, a friendship between the people and the governments of the United States and, and Tanzania. And that was certainly the case when Julius Nereri met uh, John F. Kennedy in Washington 50 years ago. And it's the case today. Uh, every single presidential initiative of the United States government, be it the President's Malaria Initiative, the Global Health Initiative, our climate change initiative is active here in Tanzania. In 1961, President John F. Kennedy created the United States Agency for International Development by executive order. The fledgling agency was to be responsible for distributing aid and providing funds for civilian projects in the developing world. USAID has been present in Tanzania since its inception. In 1961, USAID implemented their first project in Tanzania, providing seed money and subsequent long-term funding for the Morogoro Agricultural College. Fifty years on, the college, now renamed the Sokoine University of Agriculture, represents a standing tribute to the long-term collaboration between Tanzania and USAID. Fittingly, the university is host to the agency's 50th anniversary celebration. Sokoine, University of Agriculture, is indeed uh, a very important institution uh, for agricultural development in this country. This country being a, an agricultural country, uh, having this institution training young Tanzanians to be able to work more efficiently uh, in this area of agriculture is indeed um, a big contribution of uh, USAID to this nation. USAID is today involved with projects across a range of sectors in Tanzania, including health, natural resource management, education, and food security. Through close partnership with the government of Tanzania, these initiatives aim to help the country achieve its development goals. USAID and Tanzania enjoy a very special partnership. We've been working here for 50 years uh, with the Tanzanians and primarily in the health sector, dealing with health, HIV AIDS, and more recently malaria, in education, particularly primary school, reading, math, and science, uh, helping them improve their democratic governance and democratic systems. Uh, working with them, they have a beautiful natural landscape with great game parks and supporting their natural resources management and wildlife pr protection, and more recently in the agriculture sector helping them grow their economy through improved agricultural productivity in markets. The influence of Sokoine University of Agriculture on Tanzania's economy cannot be underestimated. Agriculture contributes to over half of Tanzania's GDP, and over 80% of the country's agricultural manpower is trained through SUA. Fifty years after receiving the original seed from USAID, Morogoro continues to play a hugely important role in the country's agricultural development. Uh, Sokoine is the only agricultural university here in Tanzania and being located in Morogoro, which is the heartland of Tanzania agricultural uh, land, uh, it's, it has been playing a very important role in agricultural development in the country, particularly in shaping the agricultural policy, but also providing extension to smaller farmers. SUA is at the heart of USAID's Feed the Future initiative, which seeks to improve smallholder farmer income and nutritional status through agricultural growth and expansion of the food supply. Feed the Future is intended to stimulate a 25% increase in staple food supplies in five years and a three-fold increase over the 20-year life of the project. Yeah, so Queen University could play a very important role in contributing to improving food security and also in alleviating poverty in rural Tanzania. As you know, 70% of uh, Tanzanian people are employed in agriculture and agriculture contributes immensely to the national 
uh, economy. So, uh, so Queen could play a very important role in food security and the poverty reduction. Many of the university's alumni were funded by USAID throughout their studies. Through investment in people and local capacity building, USAID provides pathways for sustainable development in Tanzania. Winning that scholarship meant for me to go to study in America, doing my master's in public health at Johns Hopkins, Bloomberg School of Public Health, and then I was able to succeed and finish the program and actually come back to the same organization in Tanzania, where at now I'm at a much higher level. I sit in the senior management meeting where actually the decisions are made, which impacts the program. At the launch, the university received a further $1 million to carry on the economically vital role it plays in Tanzania's development. The government of Tanzania is a crucial partner in deciding strategy, allocating funds, and physically implementing programs. Through the robust relationship that USAID enjoys with the government, great strides have been made over the last 50 years. The partnership that the USAID and the government of Tanzania have forged for the past 50 years has involved the development of human resources and building social and economic infrastructure. It's also involved the undertaking of programs with the potential to alleviate poverty, improve food security, prevent and treat infectious diseases, and improve maternal and child health. Throughout all these few years, you say it has worked diligently in Tanzania in partnership with the government, civil societies, and non-government organizations to bring about positive change in the lives of the people of Tanzania. Well, going forward, Really, the partnership needs to take Tanzania to the next level. They're one of the notable emerging democracies in Africa. Uh, they're, they're doing very well comparatively to their neighbors uh, in terms of free and fair elections, uh, transparency and open government. But the institutions are still weak, and we need to get the institutions in partnership up to the strength they need to be so that the people of Tanzania will appreciate and sustain this democracy for offering them the services and the future that they deserve. The Feed the Future project is one of the many current programs critical to the continued growth of Tanzania. In conjunction with health and educational projects, it aims to provide Tanzanians with the skills and capacity to provide enough nutritious food for the burgeoning population. of America has provided an unwavering support to Tanzania's development struggle, even when the economic policies we pursued after independence became different from those practiced by the United States of America and advocated in other parts of the world. These continuous assistance from our American partners attests to the fact that the United States of America is really a true friend of Tanzania.